Well, I want to talk to you about upside down thinking and right side thinking. I hope that got your attention because what I want to do is I want to talk about mastering the mind and thinking right, which right thinking is going to change your life. It's already changed mine and countless others who have renewed their mind by the power of God and the power of his word. So let's talk about upside down thinking whenever it comes to our health and fitness goals, let's say, or about any goals that we set for ourselves. Number one is the wrong side thinking is thinking that we have to make this happen. We have to make things happen. We can feel anxious. We can feel pressured. Frustration will lead to this kind of thinking that we have to be in control and we have to make things happen. It's gonna to lead to burnout. And over time, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna lose the dream because we cannot attain works by ourselves. What's gonna happen is we're gonna lose our soul at the sake of accomplishing a goal. And that is not the kind of thinking that God wants us to have. So what would be right side thinking? We need to know that God is good, that he loves us, that his love is leading the way. His life, power sustains us. What we need to do is know that he is in control. It's his grace that keeps us going. He's the one who woke us up. He's the one who decided today is another day for you. I have a plan, a purpose, and a goal for your life. He is in control. His love leads the way. He wants us to give him our burdens and actually hand over our goals. Give him our dreams and he will give us life. We will thrive from the inside out. What this leads to is a mindset of praise. Praise to God, a mindset of gratitude and knowing that God is good. This is walking in the love zone instead of the fear zone. Number two, what would be another wrong side thinking mindset would be, if I don't see outward results, it must not be working. I must not be good enough. I must not be doing it right. I'm a failure. I don't have what it takes. It doesn't work for me. It works for others, but it doesn't work for me. That's wrong side thinking. Right side thinking is being focused on creating positive winning goals and then taking small steps to get there. I believe the problem is, is when we overcomplicate things. Whenever it comes to this mindset of wanting to see outward results, we need to focus more on the inward results, becoming more of a virtuous woman. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness to others, self-control. These are fruits of the Holy Spirit. What comes out of a life that is planted with roots deep into the foundation, which is Jesus Christ. So instead of focusing on the outward, and I get it, we all want outward results. There's nothing wrong with that. But if we're focusing on just what what looks right on the outside, and we're not focusing on who we are on the inside, we're missing the whole point of what it means to be a beautiful human being. I want us to focus on the right side thinking. God is the God of the heart. So change the attitude, change the way that you see yourself, even on the outside. See and think the best about yourself and others. As we get into his word, as we get to know him and his love, he changes the way we even look at ourselves outwardly inwardly. He changes us from the inside out. Also, instead of focusing on that scale, focus on how much better that you feel. Focus on how much more that you accomplish. Focus on how now you have aspirations that have come alive. You have dreams that have come alive because you're taking steps forward into a lifestyle of intentional discipline and enjoy the process. The wrong side thinking is saying that I, I need to see outward results or it's not working. When we're missing all the wonderful things that could be happening on the inside, like a renewed mind, a new attitude, just feeling better, having more energy, instead of focusing on the scale, okay? Focus on the changes happening from the inside out. Number three, another wrong side, upside down thinking, is that we have to have this all figured out before we take a step. And if we don't have it figured out, what happens is, is that we wanna quit and go again. We're, we're like, it's not working, I don't have enough. I can't do this, it's, it's too tough. I don't know how many times in my life God has used one day at a time. I, I, I'm not one that he gives me so much in the future to hold on to. Now he has given me a hope and a future, but what he does is he gives me enough for each day, gives me enough light to be able to see, to keep going, to take another step. And so instead of having it all figured out, we need to know that the truth, even when it comes to our health and fitness, it is not going to happen overnight. This is not a quick fix. This is a lifestyle change. And so what we need to focus on is that taking one step at a time and celebrating the steps. 
Focus on one step at a time, one day at a time, one punch at a time, one round at a time, instead of needing to figure everything out. Step out into the light that God has given you for today, that grace that's abounding. So I just encourage us to have the right side of thinking, to change our mindsets about life, and to change, actually identify wrong thinking patterns and move forward into right side thinking. Romans 12, one verse two, check that out in the Bible. And it says to be transformed. So to not be conformed to the way this world is, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. The battle is in the mind. And if you really wanna live a life where we are thriving, draw near to God, let him change your mindset, take captive the wrong thoughts, make it obedient to Christ. And the Bible also says in Corinthians to call things that are not as though they are. So speaking life over dead things in the name of Jesus, as he gives you that light to believe for that next thing, but also know that it's not in your strength, it's in his strength. So draw near to him humbly. He desires a humble, gentle heart that's just willing to surrender and give him everything. And so God will change you from the inside out. And in no time, in no time, you will see those changes and not just see the change. You'll be a different person from the inside out. So I just want to encourage you, master the mind. Think about wrong mindsets. Approach life with a mindset that thinks higher and believes the best. The Bible says, let us encourage each other and spur one another on toward love and good deeds. This is what it's all about, is loving God with all of our heart, loving people, and you've got to let God heal you from the inside out, and it only happens in his love and taking a step, 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 walking with him. When we fail, he never fails. So get your hopes up and enjoy the process of mastering the mind God's way.